Good morning, everybody. Um, so this is for what I'm going to call group two in our class. Group two, the reason you are in group two is you are already able to make um, the chords of our first song, which is going to be Sweet Home Alabama. Um, this is probably one of the most requested rock songs ever, and it never hurts to just have something fun to play. So the three chords that are involved in Sweet Home Alabama are D, C add 9, G. You are either in this group because you can already play those chords, or you are far enough along with guitar that I'm pretty sure that you can grab those chords within a very short amount of time and be ready to go. So I'm going to teach this in levels because even though you're in group two, you're all in different places. Some of you are ready for the advanced stuff, which is going to be later on in the video, but I want to start everybody out with Sweet Home Alabama, like the very, very basic, which is D, C add 9, G. The way that it's going to go, it's going to go in that order through the whole song. And here's here's how it's going to, how quick the chords are going to change. They're going to go. Now, G holds twice as long as the D and C add nine. So it's going to go two, 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 three, four. Now, when you're playing G, I, it's okay for this particular song if you leave that finger down. And you can either choose not to strum the bottom string or you can put your pinky down. That's just another way to play G. It sounds pretty cool. Um, it's not a different G. If you play this G or that G, they're interchangeable, okay? One's just got a, a little bit different sound on the bottom, okay? So let me repeat that again. So it's gonna go two, two, three, four, two, 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 three, four. Now, if you took summer session with me, you can already do that, all right? So that's your first job, is to be able to first get your D, C, add nine, G chords down. Second, to be able to play it about like that. So if, if you can't play that cleanly, and what I mean by cleanly is hearing the chords, all the way through. And not hearing a bunch of this. If you're hearing that kind of stuff, there's two things that are happening. One is you need to drop this thumb that's hanging out up here. You need to drop it down so that you can bring more of your hand around using the tip of your fingers, you know, so that your finger doesn't lay over on the strings, okay? So that's your first step. The second step is we're going to add some bass. So the bass that's going to happen is you are going to play the fourth string with the D, the fifth string with the C add nine, and the sixth string with the G. And you're going to give them two bass notes each, and you're going to go... Notice that I did G twice because it's twice as long. So you're going to go bass, bass, strum, bass, bass, strum, bass, bass, strum, bass, bass, strum. Now, to make, I'm going to uh, change my camera angle here so that it looks at the right hand. Um... The one thing that you want to do when you're playing bass notes, you want to make sure that you're not swiping from way back here. If we're just playing the whole chord, it's okay that your your hand is going and making these really big swipes, okay? If you're playing something like this, you need to do what I call planting. And some of you have heard me say that term before. Planting is when you touch the string just a split second before you play it and you push through. So instead of swiping from back here, so as I do that, I might hit the string, I might miss and hit a bunch of other stuff. So you get your hand really, notice the way that my pick is. It's between my first finger and my thumb, and I'm playing, sorry. And both times when I played that, I touched the string just before I played it so that I'm not swiping. that 
so I'm not, it's not, that's hard, to, because from way back here, it's just, it's kind of like your target shooting, and sometimes you'll hit it, sometimes you won't, this, this way you'll always hit it, if you, so you may want to just practice the bass, Okay, I'm going to go back to my left hand now. All right. So that's that's your next step. So you're playing bass, bass, strum, bass, bass, strum, bass, bass, strum, bass, bass, strum. So that's what I'll call level two. Once you get the chords down and you can make big strums, then you're ready to add the bass. Now, when you get finished adding the bass... You're going to add a little bit more picking, okay? So that what's going to happen is you're going to play bass, bass, and you're going to play second string and third string. And I'm picking both of them on up, 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 two, three, okay? So you're going to go. Then when you go to C add nine, you're going to play, Okay? So let me say that again. So it's four, four, two, three. And when I say two, three, I mean second string, third string. And I'm playing both on the ups. I'll switch my camera over again here in a little bit so that you can see exactly what it's doing. So it's going bass, bass, two, three. Then I go to C add nine, bass, bass, two, three. And for right now, when we go to G, we're going to go back to bass, bass, drum twice. Okay? So this is the third level. The first level was just getting to the chords. Two, 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 three, four. Two, 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 three, four. Second, we add to the bass. And we play G twice. Planting with your pick. Third level, we... That is the three levels that I want you to um, be able to do. Now, here's the thing. If you want to show me, hey, I've got everything learned that I'm supposed to learn. I have that happen a lot. People go, I've got it. You can only tell me you got it if you can play three times through without making a mistake. So if you play... And then the next time you, you kind of have a little bit of a train wreck, that's okay. That's still really good, but it's not really mastered yet. It's just It just means if you can do it once, then you're getting really good at it. When you can do it three times in a row without m making a mistake, then you're, you can say that you've got it mastered. But until you can do it three times without making a mistake, then you need to keep on working it. And that goes for all of these levels. Okay, don't go to the next level until you can play all three of those. Uh, for instance, this, don't go on to the second level until you can go. And don't go on to, until you can do this. Okay. That is going to be the first lesson. Now, in the next lesson, I'm going to talk about hammer-ons and pull-offs. So work on this for a little bit, and later on, when you're getting the hang of this, then you can start working on the hammer-ons and pull-offs. Okay? That'll be lesson two. Thanks.